the car business is known to be a man's world, I guess. And so I came bouncing in and they were just like, who is this person and why is she here? I would walk into meeting rooms for the next 20 years and be one of the only females in the room for, for years and years and years and years. The queen of the valley, they call me. <laughs> Since Monica has taken over the dealership, there are more women working here. I'm Monica Carmichael, and I'm the general manager and dealer principal at Trent Valley Honda. Uh, I grew up in the car business. My father is Frank Mandels, and he came to Canada at 18 years old as a refugee, escaped a communist country. Uh, he learned a trade in his teenage uh, years, and when he came to Canada, uh, that was basically what he had to offer to this country. He has always been um, very passionate about cars and um, he basically took his trade and, and his uh, work ethic and his kindness and, and care of people and in 1975 uh, opened uh, one of the very first Honda dealerships in Canada. Uh, we had some illness in the family, so as a shareholder of the company at a very young age, um, you know, that was an aha moment, as Oprah would call it, um, for me to kind of decide what my future was going to be, and that was really helping, you know, my family. So, um, anyways, my dad was recovering, and, you know, I showed up at my first meeting as kind of a new, you know, girl at the helm. And, um, yeah, I mean, I had the long ringlet, Nicole Kidman curls and came bouncing in and there was all these you know older gentlemen and they were just like the mouths dropped so you know it, it it was an interesting time I feel I had to work a little harder I had to work a little smarter um, I had to be very um, aware and um, forgiving with some of the approaches you know that were just normal at the time um, and really had to prove myself. I mean, and, and that only made me more determined. I mean, that is my character. Quite often, even to this day, um, you know, people will come in and I'll be standing near the reception and they'll say, hi, I'd like to speak to the general manager. And um, I'll go, yeah, just one moment, please. And I'll walk into my office, which is kind of in behind the reception area. And then I'll come back out and I'll put out my hand and say, hi, I'm Monica, I'm general manager at Trent Valley. <laughs> it's tough to find any women that have been long-term in the business, not that there isn't any, but uh, it's certainly uh, a, a few compared to the men. When I was a child, I was very timid. I had to kind of strive and really work hard to try and kind of be noticed. And that became part of who I am and everything that I do in my business. I was just an independent, responsible, disciplined kid right from the beginning. Um, and I think, you know, part of that, that kind of has come out and, and allowed me to flourish and grow and develop into this business lady um, that I am now. I'm very competitive uh, in my personal life, in my sports life, in my athletic life. Oh. It's who I am. I want to win, whether that's with my volleyball team on Monday night or my sales team at a Monday morning meeting. It is about um, being a cheerleader, uh, being a positive um, impact and really um, bringing out the positive attitude, like the possibilities and that belief of what can be achieved, that collaborative approach, um, which is what I you know, uh, live by, the kindness and the warmth and that inclusion. Monica cares about us. Uh, she's been very um, good to our family. I wouldn't call myself a, a car person. Uh, obviously, I know a lot about the industry. I've been in it for a long time. I get excited about a new car, but I think my, more of my passion is the people side. It's really the combination of how dynamic and how exciting the industry is with new products uh, and technology. And as I say, the, the people for me, the staff, um, the development, the progress. If someone's not performing to their capability at work, the first place I look is myself. Um, so it's as a manager or leader, what can we do to support that person? Have we done everything to give them the tools so that they can succeed? It, it's that um, very fluid relationship, I think, that's uh, attracted me and, and kept me here. 
I've learned obviously through my experiences in life in my 20s when I did make the decision to get into the car business I threw myself in uh, all or nothing is the spirit of our family uh, my dad was a workaholic uh, you know we didn't see him a lot while he was building his business I fell into the same type of role my health deteriorated um, I um, basically uh, went through a marriage. Uh, I lost my partner when my um, daughter was three months old. Um, so I've, I've really uh, had to take on the world as a single mom and a business owner. Um, I had a lot of sacrifice on the personal side that really taught me the importance um, of keeping balance both in and outside of work life and really taking care of yourself. And when I don't have balance and when I don't take the time, um, nothing is right. Golf is my new passion uh, as far as the uh, sports side of my life. Um, it is something that my late husband gave me as a gift. It's a pretty focused, independent, disciplined kind of sport which matches my character and so I'm still fighting with that game every day and uh, aspiring to uh, be as good as I can be. My daughter is um, an amazing equestrian. She has taught me about horses, uh, something that I knew nothing about. This is her subject, This is she is the expert um, and it's been a whole new world that she's introduced me to which honestly has been um, such a pleasure. It's uh, time away from business, it's travel, it's expense, uh, but when you can share it and there's a, a real passion and a fire there uh, and you can watch it grow and feed it and be part of it, it is like nothing else. She always leads from her heart when she's working with us and it helps thousands of other women. I'm a giver and that's the way I live my life, uh, both personally and in my business world. We actually have our car uh, ladies nights uh, where ladies can feel comfortable and come in and um, get some questions answered. I'm excited to be able to do that and, and be that for women in this community. We do a lot of charity work but uh, my favorite uh, cause right now uh, in the community is the Walk a Mile event uh, where we get to encourage as many men as possible and now women as well to wear their red heels down George Street and walk a mile and it is really taking a stand against domestic violence in our community and I think it's such an important cause uh, that I'm very um, inspired by. I think the YWC does amazing work and so uh, we've, we've partnered together and it's been an amazing partnership, uh, one um, to, to see people being helped and hear the stories and actually walk with those uh, who have been affected and are taking the same stand and two for them to have a woman in the community you know taking a stand for other women and domestic violence so it's it's been a great partnership I believe that integrity is the foundation of every relationship uh, and when you're in business uh, the relationship with your customer the trust the respect um, your word meaning something and you following through on your word is everything. It's the essence of our business uh, and what I kind of try and live and, and um, inspire in the people that work for me. Make your choices and live by your choices instead of having to weigh and justify decisions. Trust your intuition, uh, your experience, what you know, uh, and as a woman uh, especially, um, to make a choice because it is your choice and to live by it uh, is very liberating. If you want to progress, you need to face and address and move forward. As someone who was shy and a peacemaker and really tries to um, uh, live without any assumptions or judgment. When conflict arises, which it does, the perseverance to be that mediator um, and to um, encourage and work through differences uh, can really lead to one, deeper relationships, uh, two, uh, a more powerful understanding of each other, and three, um, you get to a, diff a totally different place instead of being stuck uh, with a wall in front of you. 
I really think it's important that we don't buy into our own stories um, to make or justify our positions, whether they're right or wrong. We need to be able to distinguish what our responsibility is in what happened versus um, placing judgment uh, on others or blame on others. I've really tried to focus on being present in my uh, everyday life, whether it is um, making time for my staff in my showroom, uh, a customer who wants to just come in and say hello, a phone call, um, time in the car with my daughter uh, when we don't get much time together to talk about her day. Basically, to be present and to experience life in its fullest um, is really a philosophy that uh, I live by. Taking care of myself, my mind, my body, my soul uh, by doing things outside of work um, or even through my community work with amazing women for special causes that really keeps the balance and kind of takes me away from that um, that huge responsibility and having 50 families rely on you which is kind of the responsibility and the way I look and, and, and take my role so seriously as a leader in my business. You know the more time you're at your business isn't necessarily productive time if you're not healthy and you're in the right mindset. Um, so for me now it is about spending time doing other things that I enjoy, that I can laugh with, that I can you know bring my heart out in and put my passion in and really achieve that uh, middle ground um, that allows me to smile and connect personally with people and still get to where I want to go. How do I deal with it? I guess I really, um, I treasure, I cherish the time, one, with my daughter, two, um, with my extended family, three, with my staff outside of work, four, with my partner, you know, who I now have in my life. Uh, to really keep that balance and to get through. I mean, it was a challenge. I saw it as a challenge, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a fun ride.